You know me, I'm always laughing. Now, earlier on, I mentioned to you that I'm going to be talking to Christine from Ascend. Uh, what's Ascend? You may not know. Well, you're certainly going to shortly. Uh, for over 24 years, Ascend has been tackling unemployment, social deprivation and learning disabilities in the local community. They support the Hertfordshire community in many different ways with training courses, job clubs, careers, advice and more. And uh, I'm going to be asking all those questions about all those things. <laughs> I hope she's ready for it, for my bombardment of questions. Uh, on the line is Christine. Christine? Hi, how are you? I'm fine. How are you? How are you doing? Yeah, not, yeah we're doing very well, thank you. Very well indeed. Good, good, good. Now, um, I'm familiar with Ascend, and I've been down there on uh, uh, a number of occasions. Uh, but for, for those that are listening that may not know, first of all, tell us, about where you are, and I've just given it an overview, uh, but what you actually do down there. Yeah, no problem. Well, we're based in South Oxley. We have two premises based in South Oxley. Uh, our main office is, is uh, in All Saints Church, but unfortunately, due to COVID at the moment, we're only working out of there two days a week. Uh, and our other offices are Step Up at 39 Oxy Drive, and as I say, both based in South Oxley, and we are delivering services to the whole of three rivers and actually through COVID we've been delivering our services uh, almost across county because we use Zoom an awful lot. Uh, yeah, so that's where we're based. Yeah, I, I used to live at Boxy Drive, actually, uh, just, uh, yeah. just just across the road. <laughs> um, yeah, you were our, our neighbour. <laughs> yeah, I was. Um, so without me stating the obvious, these have been really strange, really difficult times for, for everybody, but especially those that may need a bit of help that have got certain challenges um mm, h- how yeah. have you managed to support and help those people throughout this uh, you know this year since march yeah, as you say lee it's been a really difficult time for everyone and we had to close our doors uh, in march first time we've closed the doors to anyone in over 24 years and it was like devastating but immediately we got together as a team what we can do for uh, you know our uh, residents and the the public and so we all started to work from home all virtually worked from home and i would say we were delivered throughout lockdown 75 percent of our normal services so healthy help was still running our bbo program our job club uh, all of our courses were still running but the way we sort of reached out to people is uh, we started a newsletter, Michelle started a newsletter. And first of all, that was just going out to sort of the local community. And then we realised this was a way of really reaching out to people. And the newsletter went far and wide, right across county. And more and more people who we'd never met before, never spoken to before, came forward and said, you know, can we get involved in your courses? We run one particular course, which was, uh, we called it a COVID blanket, and uh, it was all about people's thoughts and feelings through the lockdown and isolation. And we had 42 uh, women on that project, and it really was an absolutely fantastic way to reach out to people just feeling isolated and lonely and, uh, and, you know, fed up throughout that time. And we've continued with that. We, on a Wednesday afternoon, we run a a virtual tea party that's run by one of my staff, Janice. And on a weekly basis, and that was funded by Hearts Community Foundation, and on a weekly basis, we have about 12 people come, uh, all on Zoom. They'll have a cup of coffee and a cake, and they have a quiz. Uh, And again, it's just just engaging people in in these very difficult times. So, I mean, during... During these times, like you're saying, it's been difficult, but taking the positives out of all these negative, many negatives, of course, but the positives are you may have reached out and got in touch and connected with people that you may never have connected with, that didn't know yeah. about you. So, you know, that's, that's got to be a good thing that's come out of this, hasn't it? For us, and I have to say, uh, as the CEO of Ascend, I've been really positive throughout the whole time of COVID. It was very difficult for us, the way we had to work, this whole new working from home, working on Zoom. But as you've just said, we reached out to so many people. We've got people from Wales, from Southampton, from Hayley Island, Norfolk, who are now, (laughs) Leicestershire, who are now actually joining our programmes. 
which is just amazing. And they've all said the same. They were all feeling really isolated, really just didn't know which way to turn. And they heard about some of our Zooming projects, got involved, and and without sounding too big-headed, it really is improving their lifestyles at the moment. So, yeah, it's, it's been really positive, and my team have kept so positive and really worked incredibly hard with not just clients who we see on a regular basis, but also new potential clients as well. That's fantastic, because the power of technology, it would have been too easy to say, well, there's nothing we can do. We've got to shut the doors and that's that. But you've not done that, and you've stepped up to the plate, and uh, well done to you. Uh, tell me, what's you know, the, the step in, the takeaway food hub uh, on Mondays? Tell me how that's been and, and what's happening with that. And It's also on Thursday, isn't it, I believe, as well? It is, yeah. At the very beginning of COVID, uh, a wonderful guy who lives in South Oxley, Colin Ingram, approached me. He was just setting up uh, the South Oxley and Carpenters Park COVID-19 group. And he just came to us to see if we could help deliver some leaflets. As lockdown went on, uh, county were beginning to realise the good work that he was doing. And they wanted to fund him, but they wanted to put the funding through an organisation, i.e. Ascend. So we got more involved with Colin and held his money for him while he was doing amazing work out there in the community. And then when lockdown was finished, he said, look, we need to be working together, can we? So, yeah, we've opened up our uh, step-in takeaway food hub. Opens on a Monday from 10 to 12, Thursday 2 to 4. And... Uh, on an average week, we're seeing well over 25 people using our services, coming in for uh, food, etc. But we've just received £3,000 from Three Rivers District Council Excellent. so that we can deliver uh, this service to people across the whole of Three Rivers. And it's so needed, uh, Lee. It's so needed. Yeah. And it's another way of people engaging. They're coming in and they're talking and they're chatting. They're coming out of their homes uh, and they're meeting with other, other people. And it's really proven to be really successful. Yeah, it is important that as much as we stay safe, there's still certain things that, that have to still keep ticking along for people. Uh, tell us about the Dig Deep allotment. I've given it my first shot this year growing <laughs> stuff in the garden. Not as successful as yours, I can imagine. But tell us about that. Yeah, uh, we all through COVID, as I say, we've kept a lot of our services going, and, and Dig Deep were one of them, but all COVID compliant. So, you know, we had risk assessments all the way through to make sure that everyone was safe. Uh, Dig Deep run sort of slowly through COVID, but we've just taken on a new manager. His name's Salim, and uh, he's working down there every Thursday. We've got about 12 to 16 people who come each week. Uh, they've all got their own little patches down there. We've got a pizza oven. We've got a bog garden. Somebody's even done a little garden that looks like Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> and some of the food that they're producing will now come into our healthy hub. We've got ex good expectations for Dig Deep now that we've got a new member of staff on board to look after it for us. And anyone's welcome to, to find out about it. And that's that's fantastic. Look, you're talking about people finding out. How can people find out about what you do? Maybe get involved if they've got something that they could offer in one way, shape or form. Uh, give us all the details of how we can uh, contact yourselves. Well, first of all, we always welcome volunteers. We have a whole group of volunteers, about 35 of them. And without the volunteers, we wouldn't exist. They, they just do uh, amazing work. So if you wanted to get involved with a project in any way, there's a few ways you can do it. We are still working remotely from home, so uh, one of the best telephone numbers to take is my mobile, which is the main uh, switchboard, and that number is 07483 104912 or email sally at admin at ascend.org.uk. Or you can phone up our step-up building and the telephone number that is 020 8428 6725 to speak with Jane. Uh, we've got two Janes, Janes, Liz or Eileen. But you would need to make an appointment because of COVID. Of uh, you know, we, we're being very careful of who 
we can have in the building at any one time. But uh, I suppose, just sorry to, to, to step in there, but it's really important we want to get that website across again because that's uh, obviously key to people also being able to contact you. So w- what was the website again? I forgot to say that, thanks, Lee. Uh, www.ascend.org.uk. That's Nothing it. too complicated. No, that's <laughs> it. That's really important. We get that uh, get that message across. Look, Christine, great to chat to you. Get your back Thank on you. the show at any time. And keep up the good work, because it really does make Thank a you. difference to, to many people's lives. Yeah, and thank you for your support, Lee. You know, Vibe Radio have been great for us. And it's really good to come and chat. So you keep well as well, Lee. Ah, thank you very much, Christine. You take care.